In this quick video, we'll take a look at how to publish your changes in Google Tag Manager container. And also, I will show you what to do if something goes wrong. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania's YouTube channel, where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. After you have made all the necessary changes in your Google Tag Manager container, the time has come to publish those changes. And this means that your tags will be activated for all the website visitors of your site. The process here is fairly simple and I will show it in this video. Also, if you want to learn some additional details for beginners about Google Tag Manager, I have a free ebook which is called Google Tag Manager for Beginners. So if you want to learn more, click the link below this video and download that ebook. All right, so let's dive in. After you have tested your changes in GTM container and you are sure that they are working properly, then it's time to publish the changes because so far, all of these changes that we have made, they are not available to the public. You need to click the submit button and then you have two options, which is publish and create a version. So this means that you will create a new GTM container version and you will publish those changes to your live website. So this means that you will start tracking your uh, visitors or you can just create a version. So this means that you will create like a checkpoint in your video game where you can return to that checkpoint if you fail somewhere in the future. And if you create a version, this means that your website visitors will still not be getting the latest version of your container. But if we want to publish our changes and start tracking visitors, we need to choose this option. These two fields are optional, but I highly recommend entering at least the version name. So quickly describe what was done, because in the future, if you have, let's say, a hundred of versions and you want to find out when a certain tag was implemented, it will be much easier for you to find that version if the version name is described properly. If there are more changes in the container, you can also add a description of this container, but for now, we can leave this field empty. So click Publish. And this is the summary of your container once it is published. So once we have published these changes, then everyone that lands on this page will be tracked by Google Tag Manager. Also, let's imagine one situation where let's say that we have another change made in the container, then we submit the new version. This time I'll just leave it empty. So if indeed this version number two is breaking something, I should quickly publish the version number one to my visitors. So I would make sure that nothing is being broken to them. So what can I do is that I need to go to versions and then I see that the latest version and the live version is number two. Live version means that this is published and this is loaded to my visitors. And the latest version means that I'm currently editing this version in the interface. So if I want to continue editing the current version, but I want my visitors to have the version number one, not the version number two, I need to click three dots next to version one and click publish and publish now. Done. And now I see that the version that I'm editing is this one, but my visitors are now safe and nothing is broken to them because they get the version number one of the container, not version number two. And once you fix some changes, do, I don't know, some improvements here and there, then you click the submit button once again. And then once you publish this, let's say fix for breaking changes. And then if you publish this one, this will become a version number three. And if we go to the version list, you will see that now the version number three with fixes is live for my visitors. And also I am editing and seeing in my GTM container right now. And now we know how to publish changes in your Google Tag Manager container. This is the final video of video series where I teach beginners how to get started with Google Tag Manager. So if you missed the previous videos, I will post the links to them below this video. To sum up, this is the process of getting started with Google Tag Manager. First, you create an account, a container in Google Tag Manager, then you ask a developer to install that container on your site, then you create your tags, triggers, and variables, then you test that configuration and make sure that it is working properly, and finally, you publish those changes live to your website visitors. If you found this video useful, I would really appreciate if you clicked the thumbs up button below this video, because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to get more tips about Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics in the future, consider subscribing. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I will see you in the next video.